Oh, bad idea. <laughs> You're screwed now. I just tasted minutes. it too. It's really salty. Hello everybody, it's me and Kyle, and right now we are heading towards the Dead Sea, going below sea level right now, I believe. And but let's see what we did earlier today in Amman. Okay, so we are in the bazaar underneath the King Abdullah Mosque and we need better hats. It is just too hot here. The cap is not working out so I'm thinking I'm gonna get like another hat like this especially for Petra tomorrow. Yes we're going to Petra tomorrow and uh, Kim and Dewey I think they want something a little bit more local. just made our uh, headgear purchases, our hat purchases, including scarves, and now we are going to coffee. drink some tea. No, coffee, coffee, I'm sorry. Mm. Coffee. It was Turkish coffee, I believe. Turkish, yeah. This is, this is Turkish coffee? See, I'm, I'm a coffee addict. After, after talking to Kim, I found out I'm a coffee addict. And I gotta say, this is one of the things I wanted to try here was the coffee. This morning I was so angry that we could not get coffee yeah, at the restaurant. Angry. You were pretty angry. You were the guy that I don't want to become. The guy that can't wake up without coffee. No, I, I can wake up without coffee. You can coffee. wake up, but you're going to be angry without coffee. But you know, the other thing is that I think about... It's very good. This was Turkish? Good. Yes. Turkish coffee? Arabic coffee. Arabic, Arabic. coffee. Ah, I see. But they grow it in Turkey. Yeah. Ah, so it's, but it's Arabic coffee, right? It's not from Vietnam, dude. It's not from Vietnam. <laughs> okay, back in real time right now. We are heading towards the Dead Sea. Going below sea level. It's really exciting. I've heard about this place all of my life. And now, finally, we get to visit. Are you guys excited? Yeah, man. 400 meters below sea level. My ears are popping. Meters. It's the lowest point on Earth, but yeah, really, really excited. <laughs> Very excited. Kim, you should do that face <laughs> when you're face. in the water. What face? Yeah. What face? Just stick your tongue out in the water. Oh. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah just like in that. In the water? Yeah, Taste the water? Yeah, make sure yeah. you drink the water, drink okay? The water. We are approaching the Dead Sea, we're very close to it, and I can feel the pressure in my ears and my face already, like, it feels like I'm on an, in an airplane, right, but like a lot more pressure. Oh, Ooh, I just feel very different. Oh, it's a weird feeling. I've never been this low ever in my life, so. <laughs> you said like that. Wow, that's a little bit random. USC! So there are resorts all along the Dead Sea. There's a Holiday Inn, there's a Mulvin Pick, Buffalo Wild Wings. What the? <laughs> wow, look at this hotel. And that is the Dead Sea. Here's the thing, many people probably don't know who you guys are. And I probably did a horrible job of introducing you guys because that's what I usually do with all of my guests. So why don't we just go around and let's just, you know, talk about ourselves and uh, give, uh, you know, um, some basic information. Kim, who are you? Uh, you know, where are you from? And, uh, you know, all that I good mean, stuff. they know me. Kim is actually from Oslo and uh, his mom <laughs> is Norwegian Oslo. and his father is Vietnamese. Yeah. Just do the laugh again, please. Yeah. Just, just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me to do the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh comes naturally. Jordan is actually Kim and mine's eighth country that we have yes. traveled together. That's true. Does that include Vietnam? Uh, I don't think that includes Vietnam. I don't even think that includes Vietnam. Right, so, so maybe the eighth or the ninth. Yeah, yeah right. So yeah. at least eighth, at least the eighth country. Possibly nine. Possibly nine. Getting close to ten. Uh, maybe if we meet in America or somewhere. Yeah, true. But uh, probably come to. I've known Kim for over six years now. Actually, uh, he was one of the first people actually. to reach out to me. And uh, Dewey here, I met recently, and uh, you saw him in the Berlin episode recently. And if you didn't see him, that's because you were too busy staring at Thing and Dasha. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it. 
check it out here or down in the description below. Prior to coming to the Dead Sea, what did you guys think about it and uh, what did you know about it prior to coming here? I thought it was the most salty place in the world. Yeah, but it's but it's not. not. It's the second, second. most it's saltiest second. place. But yeah. it's the lowest point in the world. In the world, yeah. In we are world. currently sitting yeah. at the lowest point in the entire world. What I really like about this place is that it's a completely different environment for me. It's pretty rare. I don't get to go to the desert that often, and especially in the Middle East like this. So yeah. it is a very monumental trip and uh, definitely, definitely different than what I've been used to for sure. And I can always appreciate different. And really, it, it looks incredible. And I might even get in. I might even jump in. I might even jump in. If you guys, if you guys thumbs up this video, even though this is pre-recorded and you can easily skip ahead, I'll jump in. Thumbs it up. And if we get like, you know, 100,000, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. We're not gonna get 100,000 likes. It's never gonna happen. Yeah. Is that salt? <laughs> yeah, it's salt. Wow, look at that salt. It's salt. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Taste it. See how salty it is. It's salt. Yeah. I'm not gonna taste it. <laughs> oh my god. Is the water warm? Block of salt. Is the water warm? No, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, oh wow, it's really warm. It is just a block of salt, man. You gotta go out here. I'm floating. It's pretty yeah. fun. Yeah, Kyle, you, you, Kyle, you gotta try this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's true. Oh, with your head, man. Oh yeah, I like this. It's not dangerous to get head in uh, salt in your, uh, your ears. Uh, I guess I have to go in too. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's kind of painful. Oh, it's, it's wow. Salt. Oh, it's it's clear though. It's salty, but it's clear. It's salty, but it's very clear. All right, I'm just gonna lay down right here. Ah, it burns! It'll go away. <laughs> oh, my body burns! Take it. Oh, it's burning. Oh. <laughs> oh, it burns. It burns. The key is not to touch the water with your eyes or your mouth because it is very salty. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> reasons I have some I guess some cuts near my armpit or maybe I scratched too hard on the back of my neck or something like that oh oh and probably because of the sunburn I got on my neck yesterday it really burned when I laid down and I got some water near my eyelid as well near my eyes and I feel the burn Guys, I just got back, just showered, and I'm gonna give you that uh, hotel tour that I promised from the previous video. Okay, let's see if I can do this in one swoop. So when you first enter, you see this, this large living space. There is a dining table. You can uh, edit videos there, which I have been doing. A living room space here with a fan, a table. Excuse the mess, please. Uh, this is Kim's room, the master suite. He gets his own room because he doesn't like to sleep with air conditioning, even though, actually at night, you don't really need it, to be honest. Here's the closet wardrobe, very, very spacious. Seems like another wardrobe, maybe a makeup counter, who knows. Television, swing on over to mine and Dewey's room. Very basic, uh, twin size beds, standard cupboard, very spacious room, by the way. And this is the kitchen. Wow, it's a little bit uh, old school, to say the least. Here's a stove with a uh, propane tank, and this is the washing machine. And I actually have not seen something like this ever. Maybe I'm young, too young, perhaps. Here's what it looks like. I'm not sure if it works or not. Yesterday, I touched this switch, and I got a uh, shock. No, actually, it was this switch. 
I got shocked because I was trying to turn off the fan, so I'm afraid to touch the switches here. Here's the refrigerator. Let's see if there's anything inside. Nope. But uh, here's the sink space. I've been using it as my um, um, place where I can wash up and brush my teeth because there's you know two other people and sometimes it's difficult to share. A very standard kitchen. Fluorescent lighting up there. And uh, what you've all been waiting for. Here's what the bathroom kind of looks like. I'm afraid to go in there a little bit. Tub. Water pressure is a little bit low, but you know, it is what it is. The faucet. Plenty of room to stick your head underneath if you wanted to uh, wash your hair. Matches. I highly recommend matches if you're traveling with other people. After you use the restroom, number two, you light a match or two or more and uh, the smell will go away. Uh, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it's pretty basic and um, it's pretty affordable for three people at around $40 a night. Now, what I wanted to say at the end of this is I wanted to just say thanks to my friends again because without them, I wouldn't be able to do the Dead Sea like this. And I had a pretty amazing time, despite the burning, but just the thought that I'm here and I never thought I'd be able to come here. So thank you again, Kim and Dewey, for helping me with this trip. And of course, thank you to you guys for watching. And do follow me on social media to stay up to date with what I'm doing and where I'm at. Give my Facebook a like and follow me on Instagram. And check out my stories for a lot more. Petra, tomorrow morning, early. I'm going to try to squeeze in some edit work and sleep early. It's relatively early compared to last night, but we have to get up really early to take the bus to Petra tomorrow. Wow. Okay, when we were at the Citadel, we actually met uh, this driver named Amro, and he's a great driver. He's giving us a great deal for the rest of the day. So if you guys are coming to Jordan, I'm going to put his phone number in the description. Check him out. And your English is actually amazing. It's really good. Uh, so uh, thank you for helping us and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, you're going to be in this video.